What up everybody? Day 34. It's nearly five weeks. Today I've got a day off work, so we're going to vlog. I've got a massage planned. I definitely need it. My body is feeling absolutely broken right now. I did a big leg session last night, so I made sure that I had at least something for her to work on. So I'm definitely going to get her to work on my quads, uh, a little bit of shoulder pain that I've been having lately, as well as my back. So that's, that's the plan for 3 o'clock. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning now. I'm going to make my first meal, which as you guys know is always a shake at the moment. It's something really easily digestible, easy to take with me, um, easy to make. You know, if I've only got two minutes to go until I need to leave for work, I can still make up a good shake with exactly what I need for the day. So with that said, 100 grams of oats, a cup of egg whites. I shouldn't be forgetting this. I do that every day. <laughs> a cup of egg whites, one scoop of protein powder, 100 grams of oats, one banana, and that's it, and some uh, almond milk. Although I have been using soy milk lately. And I actually really like the taste of soy milk. Um, not your light stuff, you know, your full fat, full strength shit. I actually really like it. I think it tastes, I think it tastes kind of nutty. And um, especially on cereals and things like that, it just makes for another, like, added taste. I really like it. So anyway, with that said, I'm going to get onto the shake now. And I'll see you guys when I'm finished. And recently guys, I've been going off these little things. These cost me from five to six dollars per container. What I've found is egg whites that come in a litre container. Now, honestly, like as far as the price goes, these are probably these are like ten dollars for a, a kg. These are about six dollars for half a kg. So as far as price goes, it's pretty much the same, but as far as convenience goes, these are an absolute winner. Um, they sit sit flat on the ground, come frozen, um, so you can keep them frozen or defrost them like I do, and they've got a little spout at the top, so just twist it off, twist it back on, and that makes for even easier shakes, I'm telling you guys. Alright guys, so as you can see the shake has been consumed and we're just here editing up a another one of these episodes guys. I really, really hope you're enjoying them. I know I know the uh, the length of them is a little bit too long, but I really struggle to cut out shit. I just think I just think it's gotta be in there, but yeah, I really gotta <laughs> I gotta work on getting these times down. So with that in mind I'd better shut off the camera. Alright guys, bit of real talk, bit of real talk right now. I, after making that last clip man, I felt like absolute shit. I don't know what the fuck came over me, but I had to go to bed. I've literally slept like another two hours. So, I, I don't know what that means man, I felt sick. I felt sleepy, I felt sick, I felt lethargic. And uh, I just had to crawl back upstairs and, and fall back into bed. So anyways, I feel slightly better now. Um, I had that meal, obviously, so I'm going to have a coffee now. Fuck, that's another thing, man. I, I, I really need to concentrate on cutting down my caffeine. You know, I relied heavily, heavily on caffeine um, for, you know, the best part of the last two years because I was trying to cut my body fat. Um, and caffeine was definitely something I, I turned to to sort of give me that energy that I'd normally get from food. So with that said, you know, I'm, I'm eating enough now. I'm in a surplus. There is no problem with that. So I definitely need to cut down the caffeine. In fact, if I could go caffeine free, you know, that'd be amazing. Uh, but I can't see that happening yet. So <laughs> I say that and then the next thing I'm going to do is go downstairs and make a coffee straight away. But anyways, we've got a nice day here. Let's have a look. Got some blue sky, got some cloud, cloud action. But uh, this is this is my balcony, guys. This is my upstairs balcony. That's my bedroom, and the balcony goes around here too. That's the office there. So it's pretty sick, you know. If I get someone round, I've got my bedroom there. It's pretty big. Bring them out in the balcony at night. Have a few drinks. You know how it is. Right. 
so yeah anyways very happy here at the moment my flatmate is downstairs currently making a carrot cake that's what I'm talking about but anyways I'm gonna head into town get this coffee head into town uh, go to the post office <laughs> I know you guys have seen me go to the post office a lot lately well I got most of my shit I got most of my stuff but um I haven't got it all so there's still some things coming and I need them to turn up so I can wear them so let us go and see what Santa has brought for me today all right so we finally made it in the car fuck I don't even know what's been wrong with me this morning eh? but <laughs> my uh, let's just say my coffee went cold I went and lay down again after I made that last clip and procrastination is at an all-time high today man I don't know what the fuck's going on I know that I got to get to the gym but I just could not get my fucking my my head in it to be honest but anyways it's like lunchtime now so I've wasted the, the entire morning which pisses me off but I yeah I don't know you just feel like that sometimes I guess um, the trick is not letting it like ruin the entire day. Uh, I I realized I was feeling like that. I I went back to bed. I mean, I just did not feel like doing anything. And I've I've I have literally scrolled through. Facebook's so shit right now, guys. Do you do you think that Facebook shit? I do. I reckon Instagram, Snapchat, and YouTube are the three platforms that have it going on. I think Facebook is losing it. It's all. It's all fucking bullshit. I don't see anything from my actual friends. All I see is sponsored ads, uh, videos, and, you know, viral things. I mean, I don't fucking see any, any pictures um, that mean anything. You know, Facebook's lost it. So, I've just spent the last, like, four hours scrolling through the same things over and over and over and over and over and over again on Facebook, and it's just fucked me right off. So, I'm finally in the car right now. Coffee went cold, so we're going with the monster. I haven't had any caffeine today. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I'm feeling like shit. I don't know, but I think I'm. I actually think I'm getting a cold, to be honest. So let's get this arms workout in the books before I start feeling like absolute shit, so that at least I get a workout in now. Usually, uh, well, I'm basically a caffeine addict, so. Caffeine makes me feel better every single day, so I can tell that after one of these, I'm going to feel better. But if I am actually getting sick, then it's not going to really help at all. Anyways, I'm going to the post office, then we're going to the gym, and I'll see you there. So here we are guys, outside Lasseter's Hotel Casino. I'm actually coming down here today. Uh, I'm going to change it up. I've been to Outback for probably the last couple of weeks straight if not three weeks so it's uh, it's quite a nice place down here there's a massive pool there's a sauna there's a huge cardio room uh, it's a pretty good weight setup and yeah it's just good to change it up you know so we've got the rest of the monster we've got one scoop of carbol uh what is it carbolin no it's not carbolin it's glycoject glycoject one scoop of glycoject, which is 25 grams of carbs, and I'm feeling a little better, but I'm sure I'm going to be feeling better once I've got a good pump. It's arms day, you can't go wrong with that, so we're going to go smash it. Alright guys, so we're almost finished, and like, I'm feeling... Alright guys... We're about two thirds of the way through the workout, biceps and triceps. I'm feeling fucking pumped as fuck right now. I'm feeling really good. Um, yeah. Using my new wrist straps uh, for the tricep exercises to give me a little bit more support on my wrists. But uh, yeah, biceps, just absolutely smash them. I'm about to go out there and, and finish the workout and I'll see you guys when I'm done. All right guys, post workout, the guns are indeed pumped. I'm feeling fucking amazing to be honest. A lot better than I felt before. So we've got about an hour to go until my massage, which is gonna make me feel even better. Uh, really glad I booked that in today, especially the way I was feeling this morning, man. I don't know what 
came over me to be honest but like I said before I know myself and I know that once I get in the gym get a bit of caffeine in me like I said um, I feel a lot better so this is the end result we did biceps first um, basically just a lot of reps a lot of sets a lot of different exercises for biceps probably spent about 45 minutes on them just blasted the shit out of them um, after that we did triceps first exercise was a, was a compound movement I did uh, tricep dips I've never done weighted tricep dips and I think I'm finally at this at the point where I could possibly put a belt around my my waist and add maybe 10 kilo or something because I've never been able to do you know consistent sets of 10 to 12 reps but today I did so I did five working sets of 12 good good quality reps on the um, tricep dip and then I did some cable extensions with a rope supersetted with uh, push downs with a rope and then my final exercise was a close grip bench press which I did on the machine so oh yeah pretty good workout man I'm happy with how I'm looking so I weighed in this morning guys I weighed in at 95.5 kilos in the morning um, it's been pretty consistent with around about a kg per week we are coming into the fifth week well sorry we've just finished the fifth week we're coming into the sixth week of this bulk and I'm up, you know, five kilos, so it's about a kg a week or something like that. So, so I'll see you guys when I get to my massage because that is the next thing on the agenda, and I cannot wait. I'm telling you. All right. God damn, it's hot in this car. I did get a package from the post office, guys. Just uh, thought I'd mention that and it was socks so there is one more package that i'm waiting for from all the shit that i ordered that day on ebay and it's probably my favorite thing so once again i'll tell you guys when i get it i was just about to leave for the massage and would you look would you look at that look what's waiting for me at home a carrot cake freshly baked by the housemate you can't go wrong with that so uh, I'll be digging into that when i get home that's for sure but uh for now post-workout meal was a shake Pretty much the same thing I had this morning. Um, something easy because I've got five minutes until I need to fucking get to this massage. So, leg up. I was too strong. You were trapped. You couldn't handle the happy prizing. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm so rusty. Yeah, well. Oh, where to? How long are you going for? Just a week. I'm going soon. It's, yeah, 12 months living in Alice is a bit too long. Alright. Alright guys, we're home now. And I'm just finishing off my first piece of uh, carrot cake. And there's going to be plenty more after that. But, um... Before I head round to my sisters, I'm going to go around there later on. Uh, I'm going to do some editing. I'm going to get a couple more episodes in the books. So I'll uh, sit down there and crank out a little bit of editing for the next couple of hours. So it should be good. And i um, heading to my sisters tonight. I think she's going to cook me dinner. So that's good. Because uh, there's definitely no saying no to anything now. Carrot cake, fucking morning teas. You know, any dinner that's going to get cooked for me, I'm going to eat it. Uh, we're definitely on the game train at the moment. 4,000 calories plus per day. So, wherever I can get food from, I'm going to take it because <laughs> food's expensive, you know. Food's definitely one of my biggest bills throughout the week. So, always looking for uh, free food, just like this carrot cake, which is fucking good. Alright guys, I am as tired as I probably look right now. Uh, but I am going to call it a night and say farewell for for tonight we weighed in today at 95.5 kgs in the morning that is where we're at five weeks in like i said at the start of the series i had been bulking officially for probably a week before that so officially you know i have been bulking for six weeks now um six seven 42 42 days of bulking and i have no regrets so far so i'm feeling really good so far feeling good in the gym feeling strong, feeling full. I'm setting, you know, I'm setting PBs. 
um, it's it's a great feeling and I knew it was going to come I, I, I knew that I had to change my mindset finally from cutting into bulking so it's a beautiful night absolutely beautiful night it's raining I love it when it rains in Alice Springs um, yeah it's it makes it so much more special when you only have like 20 days of rain per year um, you really appreciate it so I'm gonna just enjoy that I've probably spent about five hours editing it's like midnight right now I went around to my sister's had a good night we had some dinner um, and I've spent yeah probably about four or five hours editing um, editing right up to this point actually so all of the episodes are done I've probably got about seven in the bank to release over the next two weeks so I'm gonna take a little break um, it's going to be nice, a nice break because I have been thinking a lot about YouTube lately. It's been consuming my thoughts a little bit too much, maybe. So it'll be good to have a break and I will be back to the camera before I know it, I'm sure. But it is a nice feeling having a few vlogs in the bank to release over the next few days. So we've got the Mr. Olympia this weekend. I'll have to vlog this weekend uh, when the Olympia's on because that is going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Oh, mate, I can't wait to see Kevin Lavroni up there, as well as all the other guys. It's going to be a great show. So I'd advise you to watch it if you're into bodybuilding, of course. If you're not, maybe not. It's a bit of a freak show. But um, if you are into bodybuilding, obviously you can appreciate all the hard work and discipline that's gone into building a physique like that. It's not that I'd actually want to look like that, but as far as actually appreciating what goes into building a physique, um, it's pretty amazing. So anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Train hard. Eat well. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. More to come. Peace.